Hello everyone, Microsoft plans to roll out the July 2025 security update on July 8th, 2025. And these are all the biggest changes coming for Windows 11 version 24H2. It is important to know that the company usually enables new features gradually, so not everyone will get them on day one. Okay, first, if we try to share an image using the Windows share interface, we're going to notice that we have a new menu that allows us to compress the file before sending it. There are three options, including load, medium, and high. As you can see, as we choose the different options, we can see the file compression right here. And this allows you to just send a smaller image through the internet. One thing to point out is that the compression will not affect the original image. We can even see that the feature actually makes a copy of that file and also appends the word compressed on the file name. As part of this patch Tuesday update, Microsoft is also updating the Windows Backup tool by adding a new transfer to new PC option, which enables you to transfer your files and settings from an old computer to a new computer over the local network without having to use the cloud. However, the feature actually doesn't work yet. So I think Microsoft should have like kept this feature on the Windows Insider program for a little bit longer, but basically this is how it works. So when you click that option to transfer your files, you're going to get to this page. Then you're going to need to open the same feature on the new computer. And then you're going to type the name of your computer as you see it right here on the screen. And then the system is going to generate a code that you need to confirm in order to continue with the process. Now, this feature actually is going to work on all Older versions of Windows, Windows 11, and also on Windows 10. But one thing you have to make sure is that both computers are connected to the same network. If they're not, you can click the change button and then you can access the settings app to make the necessary adjustments. Microsoft had previously said that the intention is also to bring this feature to the out of box experience, allowing you to transfer your files and settings during the initial setup of Windows 11. Now, if we open the settings app and then if we go to the taskbar options. We're going to notice that on the taskbar behavior section, we're not going to find an option to make the icons in the taskbar smaller. However, here's the thing. When using this option, you're not actually making the taskbar bigger or smaller, only the icons. So this is how it works. So by default, it's going to be never, but then you can choose to always show smaller icons and that will make all the icons smaller on the taskbar. But as you can see, the bar will continue to have the same height. And when the taskbar is full, this will allow you to keep the icons of the original size, but then when the bar fills up and there's no more room for additional icons, then this feature is going to enable. So you're going to have more room to have more icons displayed on the same physical space. So you're either going to like this feature or you're not going to like it because there's going to be a lot of people complaining that they also wanted this option to shrink the taskbar side, but that's not the case. Now, if we go to the quick settings menu, and then if we go to accessibility, we're going to notice that each of the features, now they have descriptions to make it easier to identify them. And also remember that Microsoft, that Windows 11 now use categories to group the different features available on this page. And finally, as part of the taskbar improvements for July 2025, we're going to see that Microsoft is updating the state pill for when an application needs your attention to be wider. Now, in the settings app, if we go to the language and region settings, we're going to notice that the system now is going to display the device setup region. So while setting up Windows 11, you probably choose a country or region and that selection now is going to show up on the settings app just to make it easier to find that information without having to use extra steps. Now, as part of the July 2025 update for Windows 11, Microsoft is also introducing a new feature for Windows Narrator called screen curtain, which basically is going to black out the screen while the feature continues to read aloud to protect the privacy of the user. You can turn on this feature while narrator is running and using the caps lock plus control plus C keyboard shortcut. Now, if you want to disable this feature, just repeat the same shortcut. In addition, as part of the Windows Narrator experience, Microsoft is introducing a new feature to better discover and learn about the new features coming to the Narrator. Now, if you use a Copala Plus PC, click to do is getting an update. And basically it adds a new option called Ask M365 Copilot. And basically when you select any text 
or image using click to do, you will be able to send that selection to the Microsoft 365 Copilot chatbot. This option is only available for organizations with a Microsoft 365 subscription. And finally, the company is also rolling out changes to the way users in Europe configure a default browser. So currently for everyone, when clicking the set default option for a particular browser, the system will make the default browser for specific file types, including HTTP, HTTPS, HTTP, and HTML. However, now when you click that button, the system is going to set the default for additional file types, including FTP, SVG, and others. And users will also have the option, as you can see right here, to pin the new default browser to the taskbar and to the start menu. Finally, you may also notice a new set default for PDF button to change the default application that handles PDF documents on your computer. And I do think that these changes should be available for every market and not just on selected regions. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes for the Windows 11 Patch Tuesday update for July 2025. In addition, Microsoft is also pushing some fixes, including for File Explorer, the About Settings, Storage, Windows Search, Windowing, Scripting, Color Filter, Input, Printing, and more. You can check the link in the description to get more details about this update. Now, currently, these changes are available with the updated KV5060. 829, but the final release might include a slightly different KV number. Now, if you want to update to this new patch Tuesday, you can do it right now or on July 8th when Microsoft officially releases the update to everyone. And the way you do this is by going to the settings app and then from Windows Update, make sure to turn on the option to get the latest update as soon as they are available. And then just click the check for updates button. You can confirm that you have the latest update installed on your computer by going to update history. And as you can see, we have the July 2025 update installed on this computer already. Now, let me know what you think about these new features and changes coming to Windows 11 version 24H2. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.